NordVPN and Surfshark seem to always be among the best VPN picks, but which one is better? We gathered all the facts and put together a comprehensive NordVPN versus Surfshark comparison with all the pros and cons of each VPN provider. So let's get right to it, starting with NordVPN versus Surfshark security. To put it simply, I'm interested in what these VPNs do to ensure your browsing data stays safe and private. One thing you need to know right away is that these two providers have been under the Nord security wing ever since a merger in 2022. NordVPN and Surfshark still operate separately, but because the reason for the merger was to share best practices, there are many similarities, especially in terms of privacy and security measures. For example, they both use modern encryption to turn your data into an unreadable mash of symbols, either AES-256 or ChaCha20, depending on the protocol you choose. They also have no logs policies, meaning they don't record what you do while connected to the VPN. And you don't have to take their word for it, as this has been proven by multiple audits performed by independent security companies. The VPNs also have RAM-based servers, which further enhance data privacy. These by design get wiped with every single reboot. However, there is one difference that gives one of them a slight edge. You see, NordVPN's jurisdiction is in the very privacy-friendly Panama, while Surfshark opted for the Netherlands, which is part of the Nine Eyes Intelligence Sharing Alliance. But since there's nothing to indicate that Surfshark collects any sensitive information, I'm not really concerned. That said, if you want to feel fully confident in your security, I'd recommend trying out NordVPN first. You can scan the QR code on the screen or check the description for the newest exclusive discounts. Our team always keeps those updated. Speaking of our team, the Cyber News Research crew ran a NordVPN versus Surfshark speed test. So let's see which is faster. We did speed tests in three locations, the US, UK, and Australia. Our baseline speed was just around 500 megabytes per second. You can see that connecting to nearby servers didn't have much of an impact, but if the server is further, you can generally expect a more significant drop. In this case, however, both VPNs still maintained a high-speed connection. That said, if we purely look at the numbers, you'll notice that NordVPN proved to be slightly faster this time. That's because while Surfshark VPN uses the WireGuard protocol to power the connection, NordVPN implemented their own protocol, Nordlynx. It's an updated version of WireGuard, tweaked for better performance, and it shows. Now, does that mean that NordVPN is also better for streaming and torrenting? Not necessarily. When it comes to streaming, I found that both providers did an equally good job. They can get through to various streaming platforms and foreign libraries, and I was able to stream in 4K without any hiccups with both Surfshark and NordVPN. Yes, you will encounter some occasional blocks, but usually all it takes to fix those is clearing your browser cache and switching a server. As for torrenting, there are some bigger Surfshark versus NordVPN differences here. For starters, Surfshark allows torrenting on their regular servers, but it's not available in all countries. You have to check their website to see where it's available. Meanwhile, NordVPN has a list of specialized P2P servers, covering about 90 countries. It also offers a free SOC 5 proxy for faster torrenting, but it's less safe than doing it the regular way, so I wouldn't say that this makes NordVPN stand out. Still, I found Nord to be a bit more convenient for torrenting, so personally, I'm sticking to that one. Now, what about the apps? What features do they have? And comparing NordVPN versus Surfshark VPN, which is easier to use? At first glance, what makes NordVPN stand out is the interactive map that you can use to find a server. But if you prefer a more traditional way, you can use the country list or the search bar, as there are a lot of servers here. NordVPN actually has one of the biggest server pools among the best VPN 2025 providers. Surfshark also has a good pool of servers, which are all in a list with no map, but the app is just as easy to navigate. And if you just want to connect to the closest server, the two VPN providers each have a quick connect button that will automatically find the fastest server in your area. Both VPN options are compatible with the most popular operating systems, browsers, and they even have apps for smart TVs. And the apps actually look pretty similar across devices, so there's only a minimal learning curve. My only complaint is with the NordVPN Linux app, as it still doesn't have a GUI, so Surfshark might be a better choice if you want a nice-looking Linux app. Also, keep in mind that with NordVPN, you can only connect to a server on a maximum of 10 devices at once. Meanwhile, Surfshark doesn't have a limit at all. Looking at features, you'll notice that both apps are pretty full of various tools, but let's look at them one by one, starting with a Surfshark review. In case you plan to use a VPN all the time, be prepared for constant verification requests from services like Google or Amazon, because every new IP makes them think you're connecting from a different device. 
If you don't want to deal with that, then try Surfshark's static IP servers. Those give you an identical IP every time you connect to the same server. There's also MultiHop, which routes your connection through two servers instead of one for extra anonymity online. I also want to mention CleanWeb, specifically the 2.0 version in the Surfshark browser extension. It's a really effective ad and tracker blocker, but it also gets rid of cookie requests and prevents you from entering malicious websites. But what makes Surfshark stand out the most is the Surfshark One bundle. While yes, it costs a little bit extra, it adds an AV test certified antivirus to the app. It's not just a flashy feature, it's a full-fledged antivirus solution with all the essential features. Full system scans to thoroughly check for malware and vulnerabilities, real-time protection to watch out for threats 24-7, and webcam protection is even included, which will stop unauthorized webcam access attempts. Alongside that, you also get Surfshark Alert, which will notify you about data leaks related to your email and a private search engine that will show results without the sponsored stuff Google shoves at you. Anyway, my point is that you get a whole cybersecurity bundle rather than just a VPN. It's pretty cool that they've expanded their offerings this much. Now for a quick NordVPN review. The NordVPN app also has some pretty cool features. First, there's a selection of specialized servers. Just keep in mind that these are mostly focused on online anonymity and privacy protection, so they're going to be useful for privacy enthusiasts and people dealing with internet censorship. But there are some everyday features too, like MeshNet. It's great for connecting devices remotely, which helps with sharing files or even hosting a remote LAN party. However, the best NordVPN feature by far is Threat Protection Pro. Similarly to CleanWeb, it's a really effective ad and tracker blocker, but it also scans files as you download them, checking them for malicious content. It's not a full-on antivirus like the one Surfshark has, but if you don't have and don't plan to get a proper antivirus, threat protection is the next best thing, because it'll give your device a much-needed security boost. Overall, although the VPNs are pretty equal in power and features, I have to give this round to Surfshark. Their one bundle adds a whole lot of value to the app. If you want to try it out, you can scan this QR code, or just like for NordVPN, I also left the latest discount link in the description. Moving on in our Surfshark versus NordVPN review, speaking of pricing, which is more affordable? Both best VPN contenders have a few plans with monthly, yearly, or bi-yearly payments. While the prices vary based on the subscription period and the plan that you pick, it's clear that the cheapest option is Surfshark. Doesn't matter if you get the starter plan or the one bundle, it still has a lower price than NordVPN. That said, both VPNs offer a lot of value with the ability to detect malware, fast connection speeds, and lots of useful features. Plus, NordVPN also has a budget-friendly basic VPN subscription, as well as a plan where you can get it together with NordPass Password Manager, making it a very strong cybersecurity bundle as well. So in the end, picking a winner in this best VPN comparison is highly subjective. I'd recommend choosing based on what you need the most. NordVPN will fit those looking for the biggest server fleet, best performance, and maximum anonymity. Plus, it's also a great VPN for torrenting. Meanwhile, Surfshark offers a whole antivirus alongside its VPN, plus unlimited simultaneous connections and a very affordable price. As for streaming and basic private browsing, both of these VPNs will do a good job, so you can choose whichever you prefer. And if you happen to change your mind, don't worry because both options have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Let me know which of these VPNs you use or plan to get. And if you're considering buying one of them, don't forget to use one of the coupon codes in the description. I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one.